have just now completed lesson number 3 of unit 1. Now we are going to start with lesson number 4 of unit 1 which is minerals, its classification, sources and properties of minerals. So this is what we will be discussing today. Let us understand the classification of minerals before going to sources and properties. So the classification of minerals, it can be broadly classified into two different types. One is macro minerals and the other one is trace minerals. So macro minerals, they are required in large amounts as the name suggests it is macro in nature. So it is required more than at least 100 mg per day. So what are those my macro minerals which are required more than 100 mg per day to our body? So they include calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, chlorine and sulfur. Trace minerals are those minerals which are required in smaller amounts let's say less than 100 mg per day. So they include manganese, copper, zinc, iron, chromium, fluoride, etc. So this is how we can classify the minerals in two different categories. One is macro minerals and the other one is trace minerals. Let us move on to sources and properties of minerals now. One by one, let's see for macro, uh, for macro minerals, what are the sources and properties? For trace minerals, what are the sources and properties? Let us first begin with macro minerals. So let us take calcium in the beginning. So sources for calcium are dairy products which involve milk, cheese, yogurt, also leafy, veggie, leafy green vegetables, fortified foods and almonds. So properties involved for calcium are they are vital for bone and teeth formation along with that muscle formation, nerve transmission, blood clotting and cellular signaling. Phosphorus is another macro mineral. The sources for this macro mineral are fish, poultry, dairy, nuts, beans, whole grains and meat. So the properties of phosphorus involve, they are very much essential in the formation of bones and teeth. They are involved in energy production in the form of ATP and cell membrane integrity. Let us move on to magnesium. The sources of this magnesium are green leafy vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains, legumes and fish. So the properties of this magnesium are involved in over 300 biochemical reactions in our body. They are also involved in muscle and nerve function. They are involved in blood glucose control. They are involved in blood pressure regulation too. Next macro mineral is sodium. So the sources of sodium involve our table salt. Processed foods, canned soups, snack foods and cured meats. So the properties of sodium involved, they are very much critical in balancing fluid in our body. Nerve transmission, muscle contraction and blood pressure regulation. Let us move on to next macro mineral which is potassium. The sources of this potassium are banana, oranges, potatoes, spinach, beans, nuts, seeds and fish. So properties of these potassium involve, they maintain the fluid and electrolyte balance, they support the muscle contraction, nerve signaling processes and heart function. Let us move on to the next uh, macro mineral which is chloride. The sources of this chloride are table salt, seaweed, tomatoes, olives, processed foods, Properties of chloride involve, they help in maintaining the fluid balance in the body, they are part of stomach acid which is HCl, they are involved in the digestion process. Let us move on to the next micro mineral 
which is sulfur the sources of this sulfur are or involve protein rich foods let it be meat fish eggs legumes poultry and nuts the properties of sulfur are they are an integral part of amino acids like methionine cysteine also they are an integral part of vitamin let's say thiamine biotin and they are involved in detoxification processes in our body now let us move on to the second uh, type of minerals which is trace minerals let us discuss the sources and properties of the trace minerals one by one let us begin with iron the sources of fe are red meat poultry fish lentils beans fortified cereals and spinach so the properties of this iron are they are key component of hemoglobin which are involved in oxygen transport myoglobin in muscle oxygen storage and they are involved in energy production let us move on to the next trace mineral which is zinc so the sources of zinc are meat shellfish legumes seeds nuts dairy products eggs whole grain the properties of this zinc involve it supports the immune function wound healing in our body dna synthesis cell division and protein synthesis in our body also copper its sources are shellfish nuts seeds whole grains liver beans what are its properties so it is important for iron metabolism antioxidant defense energy production and also connective tissue formation let us move on to the next trace mineral which is manganese the sources of this manganese are nuts legumes seeds whole grains green leafy vegetables the properties of this manganese involve they are highly involved in bone formation amino acid cholesterol glucose and carbohydrate metabolism also they act as an antioxidant defense let us move on to the iodine trace mineral the sources of this iodine are iodized salt seafood dairy products eggs and seaweed also so the properties of this iodine are they are essential for thyroid hormone production which regulates metabolism growth and development of our body next trace element mineral is selenium the sources of this minerals mineral are brazil nuts seafood meat eggs dairy products and whole grains so properties of selenium involve they act as antioxidant defense thyroid hormone metabolism immune function and protection against oxidative stress next trace element is molybdenum the sources of this molybdenum are legumes grains nuts leafy vegetables and dairy products so the properties of molybdenum are they act as a cofactor for several enzymes which are involved in metabolic in metabolism of sulfur containing amino acids and purines let us move on to the next trace element next trace mineral which is fluoride so the sources of this fluoride are flori fluoridated water tea fish and non dietary source toothpaste so the properties of this fluoride are they strengthen the bones and the teeth they prevent the dental cavities now let us move on to the next trace mineral which is chromium sources are from broccoli grapes potatoes garlic basil whole grains and meat so the properties of this chromium are it enhances insulin action it is involved in carbohydrate metabolism lipid metabolism and protein metabolism too
Now, we have a reflection spot here. I want you all to recall the classification and sources of minerals. With this, we come to an end of lesson number 4. Thank you so much.